Eight years, but Devontae Sanford is just a few hours now away from freedom. Sanford then was just 14 years old when he was sent to prison for a mass murder that he did not commit. Today, he comes home after eight years. Rod Maloney has more on how he got here and what happens next. The question for today is what happens to Devontae Sanford? In other words, when will he be released from prison? Where will he be released from prison? And precisely what will we hear from him today? And the answers to those questions still remain unanswered at this point. Now you recall the Devontae Sanford, Sanford you can see that his, he has a problem with his eye. He is a lear learning disabled young man, spent the last nine years in prison for confessing to four murders that he did not commit. Now, uh, much of the backstory is that the Detroit Police Department did convict him and the state police have spent the last year reinvestigating this case because of Vincent Smothers, alleged hitman, claimed that he was the one that committed those murders and not this young man who, when he was arrested, had on his pajamas, was wandering around outside, but didn't have any blood or gun residue on him. But it was the police department, the city of Detroit, that was able to get the conviction from him. It got him sent to prison for almost 90 years. And so now the question becomes, all right, they've overturned that conviction. Where does he go from here? We're working on that. We will certainly have the update on that later on on Local 4 News at 4, 5, and 6. In the newsroom, Rod Maloney, Local 4.